Korean Air, one of the largest and most well-known airlines in the world, is a symbol of South Korea's rise to economic power. With a global network of destinations and a reputation for exceptional service, Korean Air has become a leading player in the highly competitive airline industry. But beneath its polished exterior, Korean Air has a dark and chaotic history that is tied to South Korea's unique business culture. The Chaebol What is a Chaebol, you may ask? A Chaebol is a large, family-controlled conglomerate in South Korea. These companies have a major impact on the country's economy and are known for their often controversial business practices. Korean Air is one of these Chaebols, and its story is a prime example of the ups and downs that come with this type of corporate structure. Korean Air was founded in 1969 by Cho Chung Hoon, a visionary entrepreneur who saw the potential of the airline industry. Korean Air is part of the Hanjin Group, which is one of South Korea's largest conglomerates. Starting as a small regional carrier, the company grew quickly and expanded its reach globally. Today, Korean Air operates a fleet of more than 150 aircraft and serves over 160 destinations around the world. Chapter 1 Tax Evasion In 1999, Cho Yang-ho became the chairman of Korean Air after his father's death. Under Cho's leadership, Korean Air continued to thrive, but his personal life and business practices were not without controversy. In 2000, the chairman of Korean Air was found guilty of tax evasion and sentenced to prison time in addition to receiving a fine of 30 billion won, that's $26.7 million. The case brought unwanted attention to the company as the National Tax Service made allegations that the Hanjin Group avoided taxes to the tune of $444.9 billion and transferred foreign money to the amount of $442 million in refunds on aeroplane purchases. Despite that, Cho remained at the helm of Korean Air for many years until his controversies led to his board's dismissal in 2019. He died a few weeks later after the dismissal. Chapter 2 Nut Rage Incident Korean Air executive and daughter of the airline's chairman, Cho Hyun Ah, also known as Heather Cho, made headlines in 2014 for her infamous nut rage incident on a Korean Air flight where she became angry with a flight attendant over the way her nuts were served in first class, as she was served macadamia nuts in a bag instead of a bowl. The flight attendant was forced to apologize on his knees, and as the plane was still in the air and was departing from New York to Seoul, she demanded that the plane return to the gate so that the chief flight attendant, Park Chang Jin, could be removed. The incident, which went viral on social media, tarnished the company's reputation and brought the family's antics to the world's attention. Heather Cho was subsequently arrested and charged with violating aviation safety laws. The incident sparked widespread public outrage, and Cho resigned from her position as the head of Korean Air's cabin service. Park Chan Jing, who was targeted for removal from the flight, was reportedly traumatized by the incident and suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. Later, a court told Cho and the airline to pay him 100 million won in compensation, which is about $80,000. Heather served five months in prison over the incident, but after she was released in 2015, she was said to have hurt her husband physically and verbally, as well as her twin five-year-old children. In 2022, they got divorced. She made a comeback in 2016 as an executive of another group company, despite the controversy that surrounded her at the time. However, her stint at the company was very temporary. In 2018, she was removed from her position as a result of claims that she had unlawfully imported luxury goods from other countries using Korean Airlines aircraft. This brought Heather's second tenure as an executive with Korean Air to an end. Chapter 3 The Water Rage Incident Four years after the Nut Rage incident, a second one involving Heather's younger sister took place. The Water Rage incident in 2018 involved Cho Hyun Min, also known as Emily Cho, as her English name, who was serving as the senior vice president of Korean Air at the time. The incident occurred during a business meeting when Emily became angry and threw a cup of water at a marketing manager. She then expressed regret for her behavior on Facebook, explaining that the outburst was precipitated by her enthusiasm for ads. Emily was in charge of marketing and commercial production in Korean Air. She later issued an apology, but the incident led to her resignation from her position at Korean Air, as well as increased scrutiny of South Korea's powerful family-run conglomerates. 
Because of this, more than 56,000 South Koreans have signed a petition asking the government to stop Korean Air from using the word Korea in its name. The petition was sent to the presidential office. Chapter 4. A Wife in Action It appeared that the father and daughters were the only troubled individuals. But in all honesty, Lee Myung-hee, the chairman's wife, was also involved. In April 2018, Lee Myung-hee was charged with being rude to the drivers, housekeepers, and remodeling crew members who worked for her. On a video that was made public, she was seen pushing a female construction worker and throwing papers on the ground. Lee Myung-hee was accused of screaming at workers and hitting, kicking, slapping, and even throwing a pair of scissors at them. Ten current and former employees of Hanjin Group, the company that owns Korean Air, are said to have told local media that they were mistreated. The wealthy owners of South Korea's national airline used to make the company apologize for their childish behavior. Chapter 5. Illegal Employment In 2019, Lee Myung-hee, the widow of a former chairman of Korean Air, and her daughter Heather Cho, who you may recall from her involvement in the nut rage incident, once again made the headlines in the media. The two ladies illegally recruited and employed 11 housekeepers from the Philippines by documenting them as trainees for Korean Air. These housekeepers were brought to South Korea on tourist visas, which is a violation of the country's immigration laws. The trainees were hired as housekeepers at two of the Cho family's homes in Seoul, one in Pyeongchang Dong, where Cho's parents lived, and the other in Ichon Dong, where Cho and her children lived. South Korean law said that only foreigners with Korean roots or the foreign spouses of Korean citizens who had the right visas could work as housekeepers. Chapter 6. The Family Feud the family feud came to a head in 2019 when Cho Yang-ho passed away. His death sparked a legal battle between his son and daughter over control of the company, with each sibling accusing the other of misconduct and mismanagement. It looked like Heather Cho was talking to their mother to try to get her to join her and put Walter Cho, the only son in the family, aside. To make matters worse, Walter met his mother on Christmas Day to confront her about the company's financial mismanagement. Walter's plans did not work out as he had hoped. There was a big fight and Walter hurt his mother and even cut her arms. A few days later, they told the media that they had made up and that everything was fine now. Chapter 7. Poor Financial Performance The family feud was not the main concern for Korean Air in 2020. At the time, the company was grappling with the challenge of finding enough parking spaces for the 80% of their planes that were grounded due to the coronavirus travel restrictions and a decline in demand. But this was just the beginning of the company's problems. The real issue was their debt load, which was staggering at 862% of equity. From 2014 to 2019, Korean Air had lost about $1.4 billion. Due to the coronavirus outbreak, corporate reform became essential for the company, according to Heather Cho and Kang Sung Boo. This is why they called for Walter to step down. Kang, a local activist, saw an opportunity to turn things around for Korean Air. He joined forces with Heather Cho, who was part of the third generation of the founding family challenge the traditional way of doing things at the company. Their challenge was significant as it disrupted the company's usual corporate order. However, the battle that Kang and Heather Cho fought was a difficult one, and they were ultimately defeated. Nevertheless, their effort may have inspired others, which could be good for the Korean economy. A shift towards corporate reform would raise wages and increase competitiveness by creating room for startups to grow. Korean Air is a prime example of the complex and often dysfunctional business culture of South Korea's Chaebols. From its humble beginnings as a regional airline to its current status as a global player, Korean Air's story is a tale of a family-run Chaebol that has been rocked by scandal after scandal. Despite the controversies, the company remains a major player in the aviation industry and continues to expand its operations globally.